Welcome to Gaming with Bare Hands. I'm Bare Hands. Today we are going to be playing with a Freeze Yard deck. Pretty meta. This thing terrorizes people, including me. Uh, we threw down a couple of warm-up games, the only three games I have played today. One, two, to one, and the last game I lost due to it being a Graveyard Freeze deck, which is kind of ironic Really, the only reason I lost is because my Ice Golem is underleveled and compared to his level 3 graveyard, it should be a level 9 Ice Golem because he exploded and he did not kill the 20 skeletons around him, which then translated to death to the tower. A little bit cheesed there based off of level. I had his tower down to like 200, so it was this close to dying. Great game, though. We have got uh, four legendary cards in this deck. So it is hefty. Princess, Electro Wizard, Graveyard, and the Log. And then we've kind of got uh, Ice Golem, Mega Minion, Elite Barbarians. We've definitely played decks very similar to this. But I, I kind of want to just take this out into the new arena and experience the Graveyard deck that I love so much. I usually don't run a Freeze, but I kind of want to try it out. Don't play that Freeze-Graveyard combination until overtime because it really does you no good to take one of the towers out early because it is so difficult. You're at a huge disadvantage taking out the second tower, and if you could prevent them from taking out one, you have a huge advantage taking out one of their towers in overtime for the win. So let's stop chatting. Let's get right into some games. Kath! Hurt. Okay, <clears throat> like I said, the sooner we could get to overtime, the better. The sooner, the better. The longer we could stall him until overtime, the better. So I'm just going to let the clock tick because I am more interested in getting into overtime. Uh, he is really interested in that as well. He's all about that overtime. So he might be playing, if I had to guess, with like a golem deck. Here he comes with Barbarians. I'm going to throw down our Electro Wizard in the back. Uh, and then I'm actually going to pull his Barbarians over into the middle for our Electro Wizard here. I'm going to wait for this to get closer. I'm going to throw our Elite Barbarians down on his Electro Wizard and then go in for a hefty push. Hey, the, uh, the Fire Spirits split up there, and now... Because he committed so much with that Royal Giant, he's got to face our Elite Barbarian Mega Minion combination, and that wasn't even supposed to be a push, only a defense translating over into one tower down. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw down this Princess here. Uh, he's going to throw an Electro Wizard down. I'm going to throw my Electro Wizard. Come on. Oh, oh, we're getting a little bit of lag here. Let's push him back. A lot of lag here. That's not good at all. I don't like lag. Okay, I, I imagine he wants to push his Royal Giant. I don't want to use my Elite Barbarian, so I'm going to actually throw this down here, see what he uses. He's going to use the Barbarians. I'm not too concerned about the Barbarians, to be honest with you. I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. I'm going to throw this down here, get our Princess down, and then Log. I played the Log a little bit late because I kind of anticipated the Fire Spirits coming in, and we shut down that push pretty decently. Let's come in here with the Ice Golem, and that's it. I was going to throw down the Graveyard again, but it's really not going to do a whole lot of good. And I really, really want to have as much elixir present for that royal giant as possible. Let's go ahead and log. There's the log. Let's go ahead and throw down the elite barbarians. There are his fire spirits. And let's freeze. Okay. Again, translating our defense of the Royal Giant over into a counter push is pretty devastating here. And let's just go ahead and throw down our Electro Wizard here. He's going to run out of time. He knows it. We'll call it quits there. Good job, Kath. That was a good game. Uh, those Elite Barbarians are brutal on the counter push. Absolutely insane. Even though you don't have a defensive structure here, you still have such a powerful counter push against tanks like that. Uh, it's awesome. 
don't know about the uh, Lava Hound. I'm going to soak it. And then throw our Mega Minion in the back. Guys, isn't this arena awesome? This arena looks so awesome. Let's go here. Let's go here. Throw down the Elite Barbarians. We'll soak a hit from the Hog. Maybe two. There we go. Uh, let's get the Prince. Nah, I'm not going to commit to the Princess right now. His Barbarians are going to shut that down pretty hard. So I'm going to throw my Princess down after the fact. Look at... That's kind of funny. Just completely blocking the Ice Spirit there. Yay. Gotcha. Let's just deal with the Princess. He's going to block it. Very good play on his part. I'm going to go ahead and kill this. I'm going to soak the minions because he's not pushing on that side and then throw our Electro Wizard down in the back over here. There's this fireball. Maybe it doesn't kill us, and we can translate this into a push. There it is. Such an awesome combination, being able to stun the stuff while having the Elite Barbarians do work. That's awesome. Throw down our princess, cross lane. There we go. He waits smartly. Let's go ahead and log here. All right, we're getting close to overtime. Let's go. Graveyard. Okay, we're getting close to overtime, but really should have just waited. See, I did the combination pre-overtime. That was a bad play on my part. That was a mistake. Maybe I can salvage it. There we go. Get the Electro Wizard down here. He's going to Fireball, which was good, but we actually do a pretty nice job of shutting that down, and I'm going to push in here with the Graveyard. I have the freeze ready, and now that I've committed so much to this, I kind of... No, we're not going to freeze. It's it's uh, It was taking just a little bit too long there. Killed the princess, though. Let's get our Electro Wizard down. Hey, is he going to push the other side? No! No, 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 no! That was supposed to be the graveyard. That couldn't have been much worse. Yikes. Okay. Let's salvage it, see if we can't do a draw here. Was really bad. Okay, I'm gonna go Elite Barbarians. I'm gonna go Graveyard. He just uses minions. There are the minions again. Let's freeze them. that tower drop that's some serious hp dropping off of that tower there he's coming in with the hog hot i can feel it let's go ahead and log all of this good good, good game um a clear mistake there costing me the victory uh obviously didn't want to freeze a tower without the graveyard down there so misplay definitely could have translated into a defeat so i'm not devastated that we didn't win that okay <sighs> and i'm not really trying to get any chest slots at this point so it really wasn't that big of a deal that we didn't win anyways a level 10 terrifying <laughs> this man knows what he's doing all right let's throw down this electro wizard elixir pump elixir pump Let's go. Elite Barbarians. Oh, look at that. Look at that Elite Barbarian run into the tower. Okay, so we want to get this going here. Get the Princess over here. Get the Ice 
Golem down here. We have very little damage being dealt out to this giant. Let's go ahead and log. Oh, that hurts so bad. That was such a horrible start. Oh, man. We didn't rush quick enough, I don't think. Uh, with him getting that elixir pump down, that was, uh, that was pretty bad. We didn't deal barely enough damage at all. Okay. Uh, here we go. We need to deal some damage to that elixir pump there. So let's get our Electro Wizard down. Oh, it resets the tower. Now it's going to be targeting on the skeletons. And I'm not going to use the freeze combination because I feel like that's actually going to counter that. Go ahead and push the Ice Spirit into the middle of those units there, which is actually going to cause the elite barbarians of his to retarget there and we shut that down hard and translated it into i'm saying translated it into a lot that's interesting let's get our princess down cross field get our mega minion down mega minion's gonna do work uh there's very little i can do to prevent all of the damage from this giant so i'm just going to accept my grizzly fate here and go Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to throw down an Electro Wizard in the back. He's going to Fireball. Uh, let's go. Let's do Elite Barbarians. Graveyard. Let's freeze up all of this. Now he's kind of a dire situation here. Oh, and it gets to the tower, bringing it all the way down into log range. So I just need to defend against the giant that's coming. Giant's coming. Let's throw this down. Let's throw this down. Let's go ahead and start dealing damage to both units. Fireball's going to not take out our Mega Minion, which is good. And then I'm going to throw Elite Barbarians right in the middle and then throw the log down. Well played, sir. Very good playing for a level 10. Cards were uh, cards were still hefty, but he did an excellent job there. We just managed to sneak it away with that graveyard breeze cheese. The fact that we were able to get his king's tower, regular tower, and that poor musketeer all at the same time. That's ridiculous, and if you're playing that elixir wisely through the game, unlike the beginning of that game, uh, if you play it wisely, your counter pushes will be so deadly, and if you could back it up with that freeze spell, deadly. So good. I know you might not have all of these legendary cards, but this deck is a ton of fun if you do. So if you have these cards, take this out for a try. Remember, patience patience don't be throwing graveyard freeze down after 30 seconds you really want to try and wait until the overtime i go into every match telling myself to do that and yet i still use it too early so just be conscious if you're going to use this thing slow it down and then just rely on your counter pushes at the beginning of the game and then at the end of the game you can do those counter pushes with graveyard freeze behind them and it's just so overwhelming Hope you guys enjoy this deck though. Thanks so much for stopping in and sharing this time with me. It's been awesome. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate your support constantly. Join us next time for more Gaming with Bare Hands. Have an awesome day.